Did you know that old tires can be used to make new innovative concrete or to build strong autonomous houses? The recycling of old car tires is among the most pressing environmental issues of today. Currently, only one-third of all waste tires in the world are recycled, releasing toxic components in the process that pollute the environment. However, a solution to this problem has already been found. Here are some examples of amazing applications for old tires that are already being practiced today. In the 1970s, Mike Reynolds, founder of Earthship Biotecture, built his first house from recycled materials – aluminium cans, plastic and glass bottles, and worn-out rubber tires. In a short while, he would construct and sell his experimental houses throughout all continents, constantly improving his innovative technology. Nowadays, Earthship houses are built from stone, adobe, concrete, and any other dense material used to erect buildings. Yet, the most recognizable constructions are those made with tires. They have become the signature feature of the company. Usually, two people are involved in the house construction. The material is prepared on site because ready rubber wheels can weigh up to 660 pounds, so it would be very difficult to move and carry them. The idea is to fill the tires with earth and stack them on top of each other like bricks. The thick walls made with tires stuffed with earth keep the heat from penetrating deep into the wall. Thanks to this natural air conditioning, the temperature inside the eco-house ranges from 63 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. By applying the Earthship Alternative construction technology, you can build residential premises, a barn, a bunker, a vegetable storehouse, a cow shed, a livestock pen, and even a fence. But the most interesting thing is that used tires can be returned to where they have been all their life – the road. In 2016, an American civil engineer, Samuel G. Bonasso, invented and patented a fundamentally new road construction technology of mechanical concrete, or closed cast concrete, recognized by the American Society of Civil Engineers as efficient and environmentally friendly. It should be mentioned that traditional road construction strongly relies on geogrids. Typically, these are two-dimensional or three-dimensional cellular structures, filled with loose materials such as crushed stone. This structure increases the bearing capacity of loose and non-cohesive soils or swampy lands. The technology of mechanical concrete, on the other hand, involves using old tires instead of a geogrid. The tires are laid tightly against each other on the prepared ground and fastened together. Then the road builders fill all the voids with crushed stone and lay asphalt on top. It is worth saying that 35 cubic feet of mechanical concrete requires about 15 car tires. The result is an inexpensive structure that uses 50% fewer building materials compared to traditional methods. Additionally, the pavement is stronger and more durable, meaning lower roadway maintenance costs. Another way to use old tires is to generate electricity. How does it happen? You'll find the answer to this question in the next section. Environmentalists suggested a method of rubber recycling that can produce 88 cubic feet of gas from 2.2 pounds of raw materials. The essence of the method is as follows. First, waste car tires are quickly heated to about 932 degrees Fahrenheit. Carbon dioxide and other toxic compounds are filtered through special equipment, with the eventual release of partially purified gas. Then, it passes through a compressor module, condensers, and separators. This process allows for removing more components that are harmful to the atmosphere, including sulfur compounds. The gas produced in this way is used by some Turkish companies as fuel for generators that convert mechanical energy into electrical power. The output temperature of the water cooling the generator's engine is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Thus, it can be used to heat a variety of objects, including those with walls made of concrete and rubber additives also originating from tires. In 2017, researchers from the University of British Columbia decided to create a new type of concrete using crumb rubber made from recycled tires. According to these scientists, the strength characteristics of such a mixture would increase, and they weren't wrong. 
The test revealed that the mortar, with just 0.35% of the rubber crumb additives, was 90% stronger than its traditional counterpart. To test how the new eco-friendly material would behave under real conditions, the researchers used it to cast two slabs and installed them on their university's campus. They placed the slabs in a well-trafficked area next to conventional concrete structures in 2018 and monitored the condition of both products for several years. The results exceeded expectations. Evidently, the innovative concrete has higher impact resistance, impact toughness, plasticity, increased dampening coefficient, as well as better heat and sound insulation, all while weighing less than the cast slab. Thus, cement crumb rubber is a viable and promising alternative to conventional mortar in the modern building materials market. What do you think? Are all of the mentioned innovations likely to find multiple applications, or will they remain a one-of-a-kind example? Please share your opinion in the comments and stay tuned to our channel for more updates. There are many more interesting facts from the world of science and technology for you to know.